One night we were at a, a bar and, and talking about art and doodling on napkins and uh, Jen Stevens said there should be something like a Tom of Finland book but starring Henry Rollins and Glenn Danzig and we just kind of all just laughed about it and decided like yeah let's do that. You know what literally started as doodling on bar napkins and we made that into a zine then got picked up by a publisher and kind of grew into a cult phenomenon that now we're 15 years later and several books and hardback editions and everything and it's just kept keeps growing so it's kind of fun to just push it in different directions. As you can see, they're literally just like crude little gag cartoons. So the world just kept expanding from this. <laughs> Rokama and I have uh, been friends for a while and I had seen some of his other work and I was really impressed with his Jet Jaguar. I think he was interested in the vinyl toy aspect and I've been obsessed with Japanese toys since I was a kid. So I started designing sort of an Astro Boy style Glenn and a Gigantor style Henry, it just kind of made perfect sense to kind of merge those worlds. I remember a signing on Free Comic Book Day, we had met up and I had a prototype of my Death Jaguar toy. Not too many days later, he sent me this illustration of Henry and Glenn in this kind of Japanese anime robot style. Um, my immediate response is, let's do it. I hit up the sculptor I know, and within just a month of us first talking about this, uh, we had a prototype. We debuted that sculpt at the Henry and Glenn toy party at Lelouch de Asus and got really great feedback. Like maybe Henry and Glenn existed in comics forever and there's all these different forms of them throughout the history of covers that we've created. Now we're kind of like taking that parody idea into the toy world, so where can they exist in the toy realm as well?